Dun, 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 dun. After the Empire by Gray Fox Game. Sorry about that, Sean. Uh, but yeah, got this game in recently, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing on it. I I love tower defense games in general. I really like. Um, you know, like Kingdom Rush by Lucky Duck Games and things like that. Uh, and I like tower defense, you know, like on, on mobile phones and this, that, and the other. So, yeah, I was really excited to get this in. And this is a very, for what it is, the size and everything, it's a heavy box. Uh, it feels like six or seven pounds worth. So, a lot of plastic I'm hearing inside of this Joker. And after the Empire, you are the ruler of a small kingdom that has existed in the shadow of the Empire for generations. And you're constantly feuding with your neighbors. And let's get to the cool stuff. 64 plastic castle pieces included. Just look at the the pictures on that uh, and all that good stuff. So as you can see, I've already got it cut open here. I'm going to go ahead and rip it open. <laughs> Two towers the game. Because that's basically what it sounds like to me. It sounds like the Battle of Helm's Deep the game you know what i mean that would have been kind of cool if uh, somebody had taken the lord of the rings license and actually done that you know uh I, maybe they did i don't know if there is a game like that but it'd be cool if there is so let's get this joker open whoa we got your rule book here hey look it's a how to play video skip that rule book who cares let's why even have it let's look at it online no i'm kidding uh let's see playing a season Refugees, buildings, cool. We'll get to that another time. Let's take a look at the meat and potatoes. Ooh, look at that. I like the artwork. Yeah, that style is really nice. Now, this is not the Kickstarter edition. That is one thing I would like to get of those upgraded um, cubes I've been hearing about. But, uh, but yeah, this is just the standard retail edition. But it does look really nice, doesn't it? Look how pretty that is. There's your tokens. Got more tokens here. There you go. Back double sided there. Now, generally speaking, Gray Fox Games is is somebody who makes me pretty happy. I've loved most of their games. Um, but uh, yeah, got your player aids here, which I'm very glad. Okay, love you even more, Gray Fox. Thank you for including player aids because oh my gosh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves when a game does not include enough. Look at that. Ooh, look at there. You're gonna be sticking your little, your castle pieces into that. Look at that double side, isn't that pretty? That's just nice, man. I am very impressed with the look of this game already and the, the style of the player boards here. The fact that they have the indentions in there so you can stick your castle pieces in. I mean, that's awesome. You got your granary, stockpile, infirmary. And I like that they all look different. The kingdoms all have a different look. That's very nicely done. Oh, that's where I already did the green. And look at that. Got that snowy kingdom. Got your great hall. Take a look. Oh, it's upside down. Is this like a B-side? I wonder. Uh, the bluffs. The bluffs of Norden. The plains of Easteron. Like I said, I like how different they look. It's very nice, very nicely done. Let's look at this main board here. Hope you like this mat. This is a Ryan Lockett mat for my game topper. Right there. Man, that's a big one. Fits nicely in the middle of the topper though. Very nice. I like the look of it. You know, the little details like the, the armies and things like that, that's really cool. This must be your worker placement area primarily. Yep. Got a player order, got a season track, quarry, wood mill, mine. There's a refugee deck, secret objectives, scouts. That's cool. All right, let's take a look at what's in here. Look at that. Got your cubes. Again, these are your standard cubes. I really would love to get upgraded ones. I've heard Gray Fox is working on that, or at least considering it. I don't know if it will be available, but if it is, I definitely, if I love this game, I'm probably going to get them because I really like stuff like that. Upgraded games are just more fun. You know what I mean? They just are. There's your maples. Look, it looks like your little workers here. 
Different colors for different players. We got your your cubes, discs. Oh, and looks like a that looks like maybe a catapult or a trebuchet. I can't really tell. That's cool. Got discs. They're discs. A lot of little bags. And look at that. Castle pieces. Now, from what I understand, there's wood and stone castle pieces here. Look at that. That just looks awesome. I love that. Look at the detail. Isn't that amazing? I love this. Oh, oh man. Plastic lust. What can I say? Uh, it's going to be amazing. I can already tell them I really like this just based on the toy factor. What can I say? I'm a big kid at heart about certain things anyway. Look at that. Places maybe for your archers, but those are your wood towers. And from what I understand, you, you, I think you can start out with wood and then you build up to stone, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Now see, these are the little slots for cubes, which are basically used as resources, as far as I know, for when like you, if your castle gets broken down between rounds and stuff like that. Again, I don't know the game well enough yet to know every detail, but that's kind of what I've seen on it, so. Listen to that, isn't that cool? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I mean, just, just based on this alone. Look, more cube resource holder spots. And you got little standees. There's so much plastic in this game. And more of those. Castle walls. And I love, again, I love the detail. The detail really works. They really went all out on that detail, so. Look at that. I love the backs here on these cards. Maybe there's some for each player. Yeah, it looks like it might be that. I, I don't know. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I really love that medieval look. Look at that. Oh, stained glass. That's so cool. Garrison. The artwork's good. Again, I'm not going to know what everything does yet, but, I, I, you know, it's going to be fun. Chapel. Cost. One wood. It does something for you. Looks like it heals. Yep. Got your cross there. Uh, bathhouse. Cost of wood and stone. And maybe it gives you a coin, or maybe you pay that. I'm not sure. You got a marketplace, a red castle inn. You got an orchard, bakery, irrigation, a vineyard, because you need that. Old John's Forge. Old John. Lookout tower. You got a church. Need that. Old cellar. Definitely need that. Trap turrets. When a turret, wait, did that say, yeah, it's the same. When a turret takes one or more damage from a siege card, deal one damage to invaders in each adjacent field, trapped walls, storehouse, idol. Don't need that. Feast hall, that's cool. They got a lot of cool stuff I'm just enjoying already on this. Like I said, the, this is putting me in the mood to play. You got a, and this is a, I guess a worker area. I don't know. Plowman. You got a carpenter. Buildings and city defenses cost one less wood. Mason. Same thing for stone. A general, general stock. Miner. Man, the artwork's really good on these. Cook. Prospector. Okay. Watchman. That's cool. Loyal peasants, that's right, you little people. Surgeon, whoa, they really went all out. They show the insides, baby. Stone cutter, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna show every single card necessarily, but I'm just giving you the, the details here. And now we have this deck, which is all yellow. And look, it's, oh, maybe these are like specialties because they have those, the original backs and they're just different colored. You got a ranger. A foreman, ledgerman, noble blad, blade, blad, ox cart, teamster. I know about the teamster. Then you have barracks. 
barracks, barracks, barracks. Okay, cool. Again, these are separated by color. So we're going to go through the yellows first. May not hit every card, but we'll see. Ah, okay, there's going to be a lot of multiples. Trebuchet. I was right about one thing. Siege Tower. Manganel. What does that do again? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ladders. Again, this looks like, you know, it looks like two towers. Uh, ladders. Got a catapult. Oh, cool. They have different artwork for different ones. I wonder if they are all the same. No? Oh, okay, so leader season. So some, oh, surge. Okay. So some of these are different. That's cool. I like that. And okay, so these must be the 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 mechanical things. This is going to be. It looks like your wep, your warriors that are trying to siege you. Archers. Okay, different styles of archers. You got a fighting band. That's right, baby. Band should be fighting. Okay, different fighting band. Wow. Okay. You can see the differences in the in the I guess the amount of weaponry they bring. I'm not sure exactly how these work yet. Fighting band. Okay, so just different types of fighting bands. Hordesman. There it is. They got archery on that too. That's cool. Like I said, there's a lot of different kind of, you know, people to fight. Like it. The Infernal Army. Oh, gosh, that looks terrifying. Don't want to face that. All right, cool. I'm assuming these are objective cards. You know why? Because they seem to fit right there on secret objectives. But it could be wrong. These are all the same. They've got the great eye of Sauron watching you. Feed the hungry. Show prosperity. Defend your people. Work smarter, not harder. Master Spycraft. Build an army. Build me an army. Worthy of Mordor. Heal the injured. Lead powerfully. Make a clearing. Excess rubble. Okay. Prepare to fight. Okay, cool. So this is After the Empire. And thank you so much for watching the Dice Odyssey today. In our unboxing and me blathering off about it. I am excited to look into see what, what the differences were with the Kickstarter edition versus the retail. But I am excited to get this to the table at some point. Anyway, thank you so much. You have a blessed day and game away.